Ibogaine and psychedelics take us to this interface between hardcore science and spirituality. Ibogaine is opening up this entire new space, multidimensional space of possibilities of treatment, healing, of spiritual connectivity, and more. These reports are absolutely remarkable. Again, just like removing the dependence on opioids, it's unbelievable. They lose their severe symptoms for all sorts of ailments. And at the same time, they're reporting that the experience is telling them what Ibogaine is doing. So there are metaphors visuals about restoration, reparation on a physiological level. Then it's of course telling them about psychological domains, personal relationships, importance of your relationship with your closest social group, messages that are really highly, highly meaningful to people. So again, suggesting this molecule induces states that somehow can understand, read the person's memories, and identify what's subjectively important to them. So phenomenologically, meaning we're looking at this body of literature, what people are reporting, hundreds of reports. And so as a scientist, I look at it and say, well, this suggests some sort of higher order function, some sort of, we can call it intelligence. Science is not advanced enough yet to explain the spiritual no. aspects. No.